Billy R. And uh, he was up with a couple of pipe band. Yeah. So that's going back a few years now. So uh, there's no there's no uh, there's no new to Shetland, put it that way. No, no. Um and previous to that I'd been uh, in a previous life I was uh, a junior intercounty athlete, uh, but I don't recall doing much sprinting uh, when I was up uh, in two thousand and eight. Unless it was for one, like in the uh, hall to the next, yeah. as we went around in the squad. But um, no, it was a great experience, and uh, I don't think anything could have prepared us for how we uh, close to the action that we got that year. Because we were, you can, when we arrived up, we were in the, the galley shed and things like that, and we saw the the, the proclamation uh, before everybody else, basically, and all, and we were treated like. Royalty really, and uh, I mean, marching through the torches playing that night was just, phew, I'll, I'll never forget that, the, the smell and the noise and everything uh, as we get through. And uh, I think we, we knew that we were uh, really privileged to get into the burning ground and things like that too. You can, so, uh, no, there's, that's memories that stick in my mind. And uh, the fact that I also got selected uh, with a couple of work papers to go round the halls. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody else in the band uh, were uh, looked after in uh, a couple of the halls, but uh, we get round uh, as a squad uh, that was doing a skeet about with Shetland Danish or, uh, or Scottish. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we provided that Scottish music. Yeah. Uh, so we were uh, a couple of papers on a drummer and uh, we made it round every hall and uh, it was uh, what a fantastic. Uh, effort that, but yeah, we did. I think we only got to the last hall by the skin of our teeth, and we were allowed to perform maybe about ten past eight or whatever. Because I think there's a cut off point. There, there is a pretty cut off point, yeah. yeah. So yeah. we were, we can, I could see uh, what I enjoyed was that these young guys that were supposed to herd up the rest of the squad and get them back on the bus, uh, they would, they did really well in the first few halls. But I think as maybe some of the young lasses maybe caught their eye in the halls later on. <laughs> Uh, they maybe forgot about their, uh, their, uh, their duty to get the, the older chaps onto the, the bus as you can and so by the time we got to the last one we had, I think we nearly had to beg to, to do our performance you can so, but, uh, so it there, felt there's experience that right in the heart of it really and uh, yeah. the yeah. pipe band comes up near the Mormos years and Aye. there's a few other yeah. pipe bands and, and the support uh, musicians coming up through the mainland yeah. It's one of the beauties of, of Ballet yeah. uh, It brings the community together and uh, yeah. gives Walker a chance to actually experience it right up close. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I have a Shetlander that now lives in Orkney that was up in the Earl Squad in 2017. And uh, home is home always. Mm -hmm. His second love is Orkney because he's married yeah. to an Orkney lass. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm -hmm. I think the, the close bond between Shetland and Orkney is, is tremendous. And a, the little bit of fighting spirit between the junior county or the, mm -hmm. the football and the hockey, oh, yeah. you, you need that. Uh, oh. If you didn't have a, a, yeah. a good rivalry, but at yeah. the end of the day, once once the whistle's blowed, mm -hmm. it's always Shetland and Orcadians come together. Yeah. And uh, wherever you meet, meet yeah. Orcadians, you're, you're always warmly welcomed. So yeah. I'm sure they've yeah. had a great welcome in oh, Shetland this past few days. It's, it's been absolutely brilliant. You can, and I've been really hurt. And, uh, to get that you can for folk on the street and I've even been getting waves for the cares. I think they'd obviously maybe seen me photo in the paper and I was glad I was getting a wave for them. They weren't the gun driving towards me to move me doing that or anything you can so it's, it's, it's all very positive. But uh, no I mean I, 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 I've heard stories for guys that have come up played rugby against uh, Shetland and the the one was an ex-captain of uh, Orkney who um, uh, exchanged blows with uh, his uh, uh, opposite number uh, during his first ever uh, intercounty and when he got into the bar after the, the game the barman said there's a uh, drink for you there boy and uh, he says oh boy, who's, who's that for and uh, the barman pointed to the guy that he'd thumped mm -hmm. during the game so that, that speaks volumes to me about the rivalry between Orkney and Shetland and the, the camaraderie that uh, comes at the back end of it you can so no yeah no it's a special thing no it's, it is great and no matter where you go i'm a i'm a huge follower of the tap go with the tartan army mm -hmm. and uh when you meet an arcadian uh, it's a warm welcome everywhere but it's like that we must we might we we every scot you meet and mm -hmm. it's uh mm -hmm. 
one of the things that Max wishes as a country, one, a great nation, I believe. And yeah. uh, right now, this, this election is not what anybody really wanted, I believe. But uh, it's come about because the government's just not working. No, no, I no, certainly no. And uh, I think from the point of view of Orkney and Shetland, there are things that could be uh, run better for Scotland in terms of probably energy policy and things like that. And uh, I think the, the way that the, the austerity policies have worked against the uh, folk, uh, it's it's terrible to see food banks in Orkney and Shetland dishing out stuff to folk. And uh, I think that's one of the things that we really would uh, be wanting to address, you know, if we've got a good number of uh, SNP uh, MPs back into Westminster send the signal that we're wanting to, you know, steer our own course and uh, we can sort a lot of these issues out because when we've got so much energy uh, on our doorstep, we can, whether it's wind or tidal or uh, wave or whatever, uh, we should be able to allow folk to be hitting their houses to an adequate level and still be able to put meals on the tables and whatnot. You can, so, uh, so that's something that I'd like to. Uh, see fixed as soon as possible, really. No, well, there seems to be speaking, speaking sense, as, mm -hmm. as more Shetlanders would say, mm -hmm. and I agree, and uh, I'll definitely be voting for D when it comes to December, it comes well, around, uh, and it's not fair. And, no, uh, it's, 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 it's going to be a short and uh, hectic campaign, but uh, I've really enjoyed the, the, the first uh, trip up to Shetland, and I'll be back in uh, early December uh, uh, to see folk again, so... Yeah, if there's folk out there that are wanting a word with me, I'll be, I'll be quite happy to come and speak to them. They'll be wandering the streets in amongst other Christmas shoppers. Aye. So yeah. they'll definitely see plenty of thought because uh, the community is very busy that time of year and uh, supporting the local businesses. So that's Aye. one thing that's always pushed. Aye. And uh, no, uh, safe travels back to Orkney and hope to see you again mm -hmm. in a few weeks. Aye, no, I'll definitely be back. Yeah. Thanks very much. Good stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. Thanks so much. Right.